Uh, we're answering most common questions regarding pregnancy, so we decided to sit down, make this, and keep this as a memory. So fast, we want to make sure that we capture every moment of it. It's you know, it would be it would be yeah. a shame. It would be a shame to to just like watch it go by and then kind of forget about it. You know, I think it's a really special time in our lives. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> You're like looking at me so happy. Mm -hmm. That's nice, love. <laughs> so should we like start the questions? <clears throat> yeah, I guess um, I don't know what questions people asked. You don't think so? No, I don't know what people. Maybe are. you should ask yourself those questions. Okay. Um, I have the iPad as a reference. How, how far along are we? Six months. Okay. Or was the baby planned? Ooh. Okay. Oh, First shoot. question. That's right. Was the baby that's, planned? That's private. I don't know. <laughs> Why? Why well, private? Yes, the baby was planned. Next question. Okay. Okay. When? Was, okay. Mm -hmm. Was the baby planned? Yeah. We, we, we talked about from the very beginning, um, we wanted children, and we always said, you know, in three or four years or whatever, but then, you know, the more we talked, um, the more we really, the, the time kept moving back, so maybe in two years, maybe in one year, uh, maybe we should just do it now. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should just have it over, because why wait for something that we you really know want. we really want, Yeah. and because we really want it, we would, pers we would like put a lot of pressure on other things. Yeah. So, okay. Um, yeah, and, and we would. I think it would also like put a lot of pressure on trying to like live the life that we really want to before our baby is here. We were even thinking of a pre-baby bucket list, which entails of doing things that we really want to do before skydiving we skydiving and going to dangerous countries like North Korea, that sort of thing. But then, yeah, that but can that can we, wait. We can. I can do that with our child. You know, <laughs> she's like six or seven. You think so? Yeah. Oh shoot! I just said she. Oh wow, okay. I've already answered another question, you're welcome. Alright, let's go to that second question. Okay, how far along how far along is Deborah in pregnancy now? That's an easy question. We are six we months. We are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't say just Deborah. <laughs> Together we are six we are, months. We're we're six months pregnant. Yeah. And that's a time where I'm feeling happy, motivated, excited for the next three months. And officially, in two days, we're going to be entering the third trimester. Yeah, I didn't even know what trimesters me meant before being pregnant. Like, there's a whole lot of vocabulary I learned whilst being pregnant. Yeah. Might call me stupid because I didn't no, even no, know what no, a trim. No, no, what no. was it? Was it? What? Um, placenta. You didn't know what a placenta is. It reminds me of possum for some reason. I mean, I, I knew there was something, but I didn't know the like terms and words. Yeah, I knew there was some sort of sack. There has the baby, to be, yeah. And the baby comes in. Yeah, and then... So, what do we do to... Let's make the next question. What do we do to prepare? For the baby. For the baby. Absolutely nothing. Oh, we moved back to Germany. That's right. Shootings. We did do a that's lot. Your, yeah, we... That's... That's pretty significant. We cut. We we quit traveling full time. We were we were in Malaysia and we were, um, we still were kind of moving around Southeast Asia and. Um, but we we did that because we knew we needed to have some sort of yeah. place that we can call home in yeah, order exactly. to proceed either in business everything. We, it was we it, it wasn't some it, sort of yeah, it wasn't just the child. We needed to establish ourselves somewhere in the world, whether that was. In America, or even in Mexico, potentially, or you know, back in Europe, it ended up being Europe. So, uh, what would I say? What we've done as well is we read once a week about how the babies go growing. Yeah, we read. I once mean, a week. I think everyone does that to some extent. Mm -hmm. But I think that's in interesting. To see how the babies are growing. <clears throat> oh, and what, how we prepare is going on dates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go on all sorts of dates because, and we sleep a lot. We, we sleep, sleep a lot. so much because we know that it's, it's not going to happen later. Well, everyone tells everyone us. Everyone tells do. us that it's not going to happen later. But that's we sleep a lot anyway, so it's just another. Oh, saying. stop it now! We do not. <laughs> we like to sleep. The whole thing was a joke. We don't sleep a lot. <laughs> okay, whatever. I yeah. don't know how many hours is a lot. I don't know. But this is a brutal, honest place. It's a brutal, honest place. That's right. So, how has the pregnancy been? So far, the pregnancy has been really great for me. Um, I've had minimal uh, pregnancy symptoms during this whole time. Like, I've, I've got, Why are you talking? I've got, huh? Are you talking about yourself? Yeah, I'm talking about myself. All the time. <laughs> no, because Debra... Oh, Debra's been like totally normal. <laughs> I've, had, I've had at least a few pregnancy symptoms. 
I've gotten sick and and um, what else? Sick? Like how sick? Not not super sick, but I've I've had Just like complaining a complaining about your tongue <laughs> all the time. Like oh, I think I'm feeling a little bit. Hey, there's science to the male pregnancy symptoms. Though I looked it up. I think I looked it up too. It's real. It's a real thing. I am pregnant too, and I show symptoms of it. And she should be a little bit more considerate. <laughs> You're funny. How have Deborah's, I been? Deborah's been perfect. She's been completely normal. The only complaint that I have is that she has... You have complaints? The only complaint that I have about Deborah is that she's not been allowing me to eat Duna because she can't... She doesn't want it anymore. Duna kebab. It's delicious food. Yeah, I Duna. crave more um, better food. I mean, because that's the better I to love, live. I love, love, love Duna. I love Duna. I love falafel. And Deborah just doesn't want it right now. No, I don't. I don't want that. Not that she ever really did, but... Okay, but seriously, I feel like my pregnancy, my pregnancy, has been really good. Our pregnancy, right? Yeah, our pregnancy. Yes. Come on now. I felt really upbeat. First trimester, I was feeling a little bit drowsy, blah, 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 but everyone does so. Um, and then I didn't like coffee for the first few weeks. Oh, yeah, that was weird. But now, I'm not a big coffee drinker anyway, but you got me hooked on yeah. the coffee. Yeah, that's right. What else? What I... Some heartburns, but I think that's because I really she, like... She, she keeps eating lime, I don't know why. Lime, yes, yeah, citrusy food. Yeah. And those are supposed to bring on that. There's no like um, pickle with ketchup or mustard or whatever that pregnant no, or peanut butter. No, I don't get that. Or whatever pregnancy, pregnant women eat. Things. So, wait, hold on. If you had to tell somebody, I think Deborah has these <clears throat> cravings, what would you say? Uh, frozen fruit and other kinds. Because I just of, said it this morning. And, and other kinds of fruit too. She keeps wanting to buy like all this fruit and like pomegranate. Ooh. She keeps wanting to buy pomegranate and it's getting more and more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting it if it's not like a good. Yeah, she though. yeah she's 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 been good about the price though. That's good. I'm grabbing all the fruits that are that I can get my hands on that are yeah. reasonably priced. I mean, if pomegranates are not in the season, there is no point. They yeah. shrink up to this size. And they're more expensive. And it's like two euro, two euro or something. Like, yeah. no thank you. It's funny, in America, they would be like, wow, that's a steal. Mm -hmm. I think, how many children would we like? That's a really complicated question that I don't need to go into at the moment. But probably seven. Because, that's here's the thing is, here's the thing is, there are going to be three pregnancies, and then on the fourth pregnancy, we're going to get, like, triplets. Is that how that works? Triplets. But then and so everyone... realistically, it's like seven, even because we're going to have four pregnancies, even if we're only shooting for four. Wow, that's a guess. So, okay, listen, guys and girls, the woman has to bear the children. So, ideally, a household of three to four children is something that I would like. Yeah, that's what Deborah says. Yeah. I still I still hold seven is the answer, but uh, we'll see. we'll see which way that goes. No, but honestly, you never said that. Oh, shoot. Should no. I write that down? Shoot, I thought I Should said that. Should I hold that. you accountable to that? I thought I said that at the very beginning. No, you did not. No. That, that was in my vows. What do you mean? You did not. I promised to impregnate you with seven children. <laughs> so why do you want children so much? Why do you love children? I love children. Tell me why. I don't know. They're just so fun. They're cute. Huh? They're like imaginative. You know, adults are kind of boring because they... They don't like having imagination. They they just kind of like they go to work and then they go to sleep and then they go up and do it again. <laughs> Children are like like the whole world is open to them, you know. Not that not that four children is necessarily worse than seven children though, because those four <laughs> children might have as much imagination as this other seven. <laughs> Who knows? So I want to know how you feel about becoming a dad. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That expression. That's a though. tough question. I'm, I think they say that a dad becomes a dad when his child is born, or a mom becomes a mom when oh, she gets pregnant, or when she sees the ultrasound, something like that. And so, and so, I don't know that I can really give a fair answer to that question, even if even if it does feel a bit different. It is kind of an incredible feeling when when um, our baby kicks. You know, when I feel the tummy. Yeah, it's so fun. It's like wow, there's something actually in there. It's not just food. And then you go, I think she likes me. I think she likes me. I think she likes me. Yeah, it's because like, like when she puts her foot up against her hand against my hand or foot against my hand or whatever it is, then it's like, it's like she's trying to touch my hand. 
I know. High five you. It's cute. And if you haven't felt um, <coughs> the kicks in a while, he goes, I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss her. her. I can't say the name. We're not allowed. Yeah. We haven't answered that question yet. Mm. No, but the thing is, I, 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 I do feel different. I do feel like, wow, there's something, there's like a really incredible force pulling me towards this. Force. Bit. I know, I mean, it sounds, what does that mean? sounds corny, but it's like, there's something that I can't see that's like pulling me towards this child that hasn't even been born yet. But I think it's just the beginning and I can't really answer that question fully. Okay, but you're you know, excited about becoming a dad. Yeah, I'm really excited. What are you excited, excited about? I'm excited about <clears throat> teaching our daughter to swim and to speak. <laughs> to and, speak. And holding her up like this. And, oh yeah. And like this. Oh yeah. And then like and like going like this. In the water. No, in, or in the air. Oh okay. <laughs> We're going no. What does that entail? And she's gonna like fly like an airplane, you know. That's so cool. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to being a family with you and the baby. Yeah. And Making seeing your dad bigger. and becoming the role of a mom. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And also, I hear like you literally don't have time to put on makeup or sometimes you can use the toilet if you really desperately need to because the baby will be like running after to, to look where you are. Yeah, I'm really excited for her to get bothered when she's in the toilet. It's so. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I know. But despite all that, we are going to share the name close to the baby's due date in a kind of cute reveal video mm -hmm. which yeah. we're going to make in, well, yeah. in London in London, yeah, we're Share really excited for it mm -hmm. Share the story and we will reveal the name and share the baby belly That's right, we'll, we'll do a uh, photo shoot or something like that, it'll mm -hmm. be fun Okay, what was the gender reveal like? The gender reveal So before we even could know, we would Try and figure out different. What is it called? Woman tales. Well, like, wives tales. Wife tales to figure yeah. out whether it's a boy or a girl. We did the ring test. We did um, even putting a bit of urine in a cup. With to test the acidity of it or something. Uh huh. I don't know. We did. We did have an ultrasound the first time when we were what, fourteen, fourteen weeks pregnant, yeah. which is like two to three months, and you could tell that she, she knew, but she was in the UK. You're not allowed to tell. Um, she, she said that she would tell us. Um, she asked us if we wanted to know. If we didn't make a big deal out of it. We didn't make a big deal it. out of it. Yeah, like, and so I think she she knew, and she, like, sometimes you can tell. And even the fact that she told us that maybe she could tell. Usually they say you can detect boy sooner. Um, and so and so based on the fact that she told us that she knew, um, or she implied that, then we thought, oh, it must be a boy because boys are easier to tell. But back then we were still kind of thinking maybe it's girl, maybe it's boy. Yeah. Uh, and then closer to halfway through the pregnancy, we went to um, your hometown in Oregon in America, and we got an ultrasound done, mm -hmm. uh, in the hopes to find out the gender. And then again, they couldn't tell us because they, they just wouldn't. They. She said that they weren't licensed to do it or something like. They're insured. I don't know. Yeah. Exactly. But oh man, it looked like a boy. It <laughs> looked like a boy. Even your mom was like, oh it's my a, god, is that, that a, you know, yeah. that part of the yeah. boy? So then we went home and I was just like thinking, imagining having a boy for all this time. Yeah. That day you were like, okay, let's do this other urine test. We did it and it came out. Girl. Came out girl. So contradictory. Then we looked into our I Chinese. Don't, I don't know. I don't know the science behind this urine test thing. Maybe it's real. Maybe it's not. But yeah. It was accurate yeah. though. But then, but then we we took like the Chinese calendar, right? Yeah. And initially, I thought maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. Initially, I thought it said girl, but then when I went back, it said boy. And so I was like, yeah, it's a boy. It's got to be the Chinese. Have always got it <laughs> they right. They always get it right. But we still didn't know for sure until the twentieth week. So another month from then. That scan was interesting because they were doing measurements of the limbs and of the body and part of the leg mm -hmm. is called femur. Femur. Yeah. So it said F E M. At first we didn't realize what he was saying. We saw F E M and we we're like, oh man, is he just like writing it right there? Like we're stupid or something? Yeah, he wrote it on the picture. And so but then on. but then I realized I realized towards the end of the um, ultrasound, oh yeah, that probably means femur. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, we basically uh, asked him to write down what the gender is in a piece of paper. We couldn't mm -hmm. wait to make another big fuss out of it, make like a real gender reveal that yeah, we had. Party or something. Yeah. Yeah. Because my family is in <clears throat> London and they don't really 
want to know the gender like they kind yeah. of they were kind oh, of they were doesn't kind of matter like boy yeah. or girl just a healthy baby yeah yeah <laughs> which we also believe in but it's always really excited especially yeah. for your first child yeah definitely when it and so so yeah so we just did it right in the air or the in the hospital uh, with the, yeah, yeah with the camera we're not allowed to bring the camera into the ultrasound room so we wanted to but we wanted to film our reaction so both of us are in that split moment just before opening it i had a feeling it could be a girl because we saw the fe yeah the story, i think so. it's important to say like we're going to keep up to date with these videos we're going to make more of them not too much about pregnancy some of them but we also make videos uh, about our lives and about the journey and the journey yeah, exactly like, it's called see the journey see the journey so make sure you subscribe hit that like button if you are pregnant thank you so much for watching yeah bye bye <laughs>